Hello everybody, I'm VoxelMods, and today I'm going to be talking about how I prepare my cable ends. And to do that, I'm going to show you how I did it when I first started out as a cable maker, and then I'm going to show you how I do it today, which is much faster and easier. For my original technique, these are the materials and tools that you'll need. You'll need one quarter inch clear heat shrink, a pair of fine sharp tweezers, a pair of fine sharp scissors, and a, you know, a lighter, preferably with an extended nozzle. And for my 2023 technique, the only difference is a wood burning tool. Any cheap one will do, a chisel tip is ideal. We're going to slide a piece of quarter inch heat shrink onto the cable end. Then we'll take our sharp tweezers and we'll gently rake the sleeve to spread out the fibers. We're going all the way to the inner layers of MDPCX there. And in this example, we're also going through a layer of opalescent sleeve. Then we take our sharp scissors, we decide how far in we wanna go, and then we very, very carefully start trimming around There we go. Now what we do is we slide up our quarter inch heat shrink. We take our lighter, and now this is the original technique, which is to melt. This is called uh, heat welding, heat fusing, or just melting. And then we're going until we see the sleeve start to form a fine cone. Then what we do, is we take a piece of cloth and grip the end, grip the cable, and then pull straight off. Now we've fully sealed and stripped this cable. We can now strip the inner cores and get to soldering. And now for how I've been doing this for the past oh, at least a year now, uh, this has been so helpful. And what we do is we take this $20 wood burning iron with a chisel tip and we just press and being sure not to stay in one place for too long we go around and we just carve through the plastic of the sleeve use our fingers to just gently shape that a little bit and now we can just pull this right off got a few extra strands on there but those are going to come off shortly now we just throw our heat shrink on and we light up. Once we see that the heat shrink has uh, melted enough to, you know, see this kind of cone uh, form, that's when we know we are ready to pull the heat shrink off. We grab our cloth and there it is. You can see we do have a couple of strands of TechFlex but we just pull those off. And that is how I prepare all of my cable ends. Um, yeah, it's uh, really great. Um, if you're just starting out with cables, I might recommend that you skip the wood burning tool. But uh, if you're a cable maker and you don't have a wood burning tool, highly recommend it. Uh, well, I've been Voxel Mods. You've been you. Thanks for learning with me.